You are currently looking at one of the cleanest live stream setups the world has to offer. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down everything so that you could potentially include one of the things we got going on here. And the coolest thing about this is it's powered by a single cable. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Tukoy with Think Media. Now, if you have any questions about anything in this setup, feel free to put them down in the comments below. And I'll be sure to put links down to everything that I talk about in this video so that if you wanna pick up one of these things, then you can go ahead and do so. But let's talk about the brains of this operation. And that is my MacBook Pro 14 inch M2 Pro chip laptop. This laptop does absolutely everything I need it to. And you know, not to get too nerdy on this, I think it's just important to note that any Apple product with an M chip in it is gonna do wonders, especially for live streaming. To extend this uh, desktop that I have as the main monitor is just a fairly inexpensive 1080p monitor that literally is powered and is also uh, sending a display via a Thunderbolt cable. And the reason why I would encourage a secondary monitor, by the way, is so that you can extend you know, your slides if you're sharing slides, maybe you're sharing a video. It's just nice to know that anything that I share on a live stream on this monitor, I know will be seen on that live with no confusion. If I pack up for the day, I can just unplug everything, close my laptop and go. And then when I wanna come back and maybe hit a live stream, I can just plop the laptop, plug in these few cables, and then I'm ready to go. And so that is the brains of this operation. You know, if you wanted to get an extra keyboard and a mouse. I personally love the Logitech MX series. So the MX uh, keyboard and the MX Master 3 mouse. The light setup I'm using is made up of three pieces. First, you have your desk clamp uh, that allows me to actually mount the light itself on the desk, uh, which keeps things off the floor. I don't need extra stands and things like that. And you can go, you know, different options when you are using a light stand. You know, at my home office, I have what is called a very pole, and that's a tension rod across my room. And then I have my light hanging upside down, as you can see in this video. In this case, I'm just using a light stand with a desk mount attached to it, which is super convenient. And then the light I'm actually using is the Amaran 60D. I like to say that this light is kind of beginner proof. You can't make the mistake of having it the wrong temperature. And then I have a modifier, which is a soft box. And this is just gonna produce a nice large soft light on my face, really giving a nice professional image. And I promise you will stand out like crazy with really good lighting. Now I wanna talk about the sponsor of this video, which we absolutely love, and that is StreamYard. StreamYard is a web-based live streaming solution. And it's literally how we live stream here on Think Media, as well as our Think Media podcast. We use it to do educational live streams, like sharing slides and things like that. But we also do it to do live coaching sessions where we bring people on. And so whether you're doing live streams, interviews, or video podcasting, StreamYard is an incredible solution for you to check out. And so if you wanna check out StreamYard for yourself, there's a special deal. I would encourage you to check out the link in the description or just go to streamwiththink.com and check out StreamYard for yourself. The camera that we are using for this setup, it starts with the body of the Sony FX30 with the top handle. This top handle has an XLR input, which will allow you to plug in a very high quality microphone and really just streamline the whole process of this video and audio situation. But this camera with the top handle comes in at about $2,200 at the time of shooting this video. You could take it from me that if you buy this camera, trust me, you will not have to buy a camera again. Just get the right thing up front and then you won't have to upgrade later. But that is the Sony FX30 with the top handle. And then the lens that we have on it is the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. Uh, you could see how close this is to kind of where I was sitting, but it gives you a nice wide shot. So it's kind of like a webcam look, a youtube -y look. The reason why this is very convenient is because we have it mounted using a small rig camera desk mount. And this is nice because again, we don't need stands like this is mounted as well as this, and the desk is on wheels, so we can literally change our angle as we'd like to. I've been a fan of the 16 millimeter. It's, for me, the perfect you know, focal length. And this lens comes in at about $350 or so. And so all in here, you're looking at right around a little over $2,500 for the camera setup, but this camera is a beast. You'll never have to worry about anything. But the coolest thing about it is that you can actually use this camera as your webcam with the single use of a USB cable. So in the past, 
I'll have to get a dummy battery, an HDMI cable, put it into a capture card. But now Sony has put uh, technology in the camera that literally I just put open up my laptop, plug in a USB, and then boom, I have video, but you also have audio. And so on whatever device, whether you're using StreamYard, if you're using Zoom, or if you're using QuickTime to even record, you would select the FX30 as your camera, but you would also let select the FX30 as your microphone. Now, plugging in an XLR microphone straight into the camera will allow you to enable the ability to use the camera as your mic because now there's sound coming in. And so just dialing in your settings up here, making sure it obviously sounds good, it really streamlines the process. But let's break down the microphone solution, which I think is super clean. So the microphone for this setup is the Shure SM7DB. This is Shure's newest microphone, and I can't say enough good things about this microphone. It is a premium buy. This mic comes in at $500 but you could see the world uses the infamous SM7B, which comes in at $400, but then you're gonna have to buy a cloud lifter or some sort of preamp, which is gonna set you back another you know, 50 to $100. So what Shure actually did is they built in the preamp in the mic. So all you need to do is simply plug in an XLR cable directly into your recorder, or in this case, directly into the Sony FX30. And honestly, it's the most streamlined, cleanest sounding setup you can potentially get, right? Because you're not having to use an interface, you're not having to plug into another device. It's literally all in one. And here's the coolest thing about, again, this whole setup, is that everything is powered from the MacBook. So as long as I'm just making sure that power is getting into my MacBook, the MacBook itself is actually powering the FX30, and then the FX30 is actually powering this mic. And here is the family all working together. I got my light hitting my face. I have the Shure SM7DB right underneath my mouth. And then I have the FX30 set up. This is how it looks and sounds. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But let's break down this arm that I'm using, which is a super cool low profile arm so you don't really see it in the shot. The mic arm that you see here, I absolutely love. It's called the Elgato low profile mic arm. This mic arm comes in at about $80. And I love this mic arm because it's not so intrusive. So in the shot itself, you'll see that it's just the mic is the only thing that you really see. And putting it on a sit stand desk of sorts with wheels is really smart because you could either switch up the shot or if you wanna stand up, you can do so. And one of our favorite types of desks here at Think Media is actually a workbench from Home Depot. They're called the Husky Workbenches and they make them so you can crank them up, you know, manually sit and stand. But I love how warm it makes a room or a place feel because of the wood tones. Uh, this is just your white, simple, minimal sit and stand desk, but I did throw caster wheels at the bottom of this so we can roll it as needed. I'm not too much of a guy that stands up when he works. I, if I'm sitting, I'm working, and then I get away and take a, take a break. Again, we'll post links down to everything in the description below, but I really hope you got value in this video and I hope you pulled out some principles. But if you wanna check out another video from us here at Think Media, go ahead and click or tap the screen and I'll see you in a future video. Peace.